This is incredibly powerful. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? My voice today is a little bit changed, but I want to show you Hugging Face Spaces, which has 500,000 AI projects that are hosted on their site. You can just run it. You don't need your own hardware, and you can even use it every day a little bit for free, and that is pretty amazing. Let's check it out. So here you can see an example on how I use spaces to generate an image of a gnome, then convert that into 3D and use that on Korea AI to create an image of a fantasy landscape. And the result is pretty amazing. So when you're going on hugging face, it looks like this, not very pleasing, but on the top right, you have spaces here. So click on that and this already looks a lot more beautiful, at least to my eyes, because I like beautiful colors. Now here on the top side, you see all these little buttons. And as you can see, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Image generation, video generation, text generation, language translation, speech synthesis, 3D modeling, object detection, text analysis, image editing, code generation, and so on and so on. There's an arrow on the right side, you can click on that. And there is more you click again, there is more you click again, there is more you click again, there is more and you click again, there is even more. And these are just the categories for image generation. For example, it is showing you the most beloved projects on here. So you can see you can use flux one depth, you can use AI comic factory flux Schnell. you can use mid journey, which is not mid journey, you have stable diffusion 2.1, you have stable diffusion 3.5 large, and there's a lot of stuff here. But let's also look here, for example, at 3d modeling, you can, for example, use trellis, which can be used as you have seen to convert an image into a 3d file and there's text generation, any chat, or you can use whisper large, or you can use llama 3.1 and so on. Let's go here to the 3d modeling. And let's go here to trellis, which I will show you in more detail tomorrow. So this is loading a Gradio interface, which is very simple. Everything is prepared for you. There's some sample images down here. If you don't have any images you can use, so you can just click on one of them It's going to be loaded up here. And the background is automatically removed from the image. And then you can, for example, click here on generate. And this will take a little bit and you can see it's already running here. It is successfully acquiring a GPU. And then it will also run the process taking a little bit of time here, but no problem. And here, while it's running on the top side, you can see running on zero, which is zero GPU, which means it's a scalable virtual CPU, basically, so it scales as much as you need it. And you get five minutes of use every single day for free, we will look at the pricing in a second. So here you can see this and this is for now only a video, but you can see it looks damn good. Wow, so much detail in here. Actually, just from that one image, a complete 3D shape, the front, the back, everything fits together. If you like the result, you can click here on extract GLB. So click on that. And you can see it starts now the process down here. And this will then as you can see, it's already running, convert that into an actual 3D shape you can use in 3D software. So while this is running, let's talk about some other stuff here, you can clone this space. So you click up here on these three dots. And you can see clone repository. So this will clone it. So you have your own copy. And you can run this copy on the GPU that you rent on only you pay for the time you're using it. This is a little bit more expensive than other pages. But the big benefit here is that all of this is basically consistent, it stays there. And you can do it with one click. So you don't have to prepare anything or learn anything, you can just use it as is. But let's look here at the 3d model. So here, as you can see, we have now the 3d model, I can return around it with my mouse, I can zoom in to see more of the detail as you can see, very, very nice, beautiful textures on here. Everything worked out very, very nicely. And now you can download this GLB file. And this is going to be a textured file for you already made ready to be used. Okay, so like I said, let's have a look at the pricing here. So first of all, up here on the top side, on the right, you have here your username. So when we click on that, you can see I have here 
my information about the usage quota. So you have private storage for free for 103 gigabyte and then you have zero GPU time of five minutes per day. I have used up 1.9 minutes. I played around a little bit. I created, I think three different 3D models and two or three images. I think the most GPU time was used to create these 3D models here. Then for the inference credits, I have used none of them because these projects usually run on this zero GPU here. On the pricing page, you will see this, which can be a little bit confusing to be honest. So when you create an account, you have the HF Hub or Hugging Face Hub, which is free forever, where you can clone these projects. You can also create your own projects, upload data, upload models, things like that. So that is possible to do. Then you have here the pro account. Let's click on that. You can see here for the zero GPU, you get five times the usage amount. So free is five minutes and then this will be 25 minutes. And then you can also create zero GPU spaces with the A100 hardware. Cloning spaces and using your own rented GPU there is pretty easy. You just do one click and it's cloned for you. So let's go back here and scroll down a little bit more because here you can see the space hardware and there you see the different GPUs you can have. They are more in the commercial area. So there is not really any um, 4090 or 5090 or something in this list here that you can see. But for example, here we have an A100. You see also the VRAM and the prices on the side for the hourly price. Now this is not calculated hourly. This is calculated by the minute. So if you need it for 15 minutes, you're not going to pay the full hourly price, but also make sure that you close the space so it is not running anymore because otherwise you might pay for a GPU that you're not even using. And as I said, for example, if you look down here for the A100, it costs $4 per hour, which is okay if you don't have to have the hardware. And especially if you think about not having the hustle of uploading the code and the model and setting everything up for yourself, this can be very complex. If you have your own Docker on a different website, where an A100 might, for example, only cost you $1.50 or $2 per hour, but you have to do everything yourself. Here it's one click and you can just use it. And I would say that this is specifically useful in cases where you don't have your own hardware to run larger models or you need more speed or you want to test out an AI before you install it, go through all that work online. So for the rare cases when you actually use that and with all these different models, all these different projects, you can use so many projects without needing to install every little thing on your computer. And that actually really makes it worth it. When you're looking at my profile here, I have, for example, in 2023 already cloned here the audio LMD text to audio generation. And here is another thing that is pretty interesting, by the way. So I haven't used it since then. It says sleeping here. When I click on this, it will tell me that this is outdated. It uses an old Gradio version. So I can click here to update that. And this is going to do it for me. I can also restart this space so that this can actually be super easy for you to use things like that and explore new projects. Also, let's check out some other projects that are on here. For example, you can chat with Janus Pro 7B. You can use Hunyuan 3D, which is a text to 3D and image to 3D generation. You can use IC Lite version 2. Down here, the Open Suno model for lyrics into complete songs with vocals in multiple languages trellis we have already seen there is deep seek so you have also very new stuff on here that you can play around with now one thing that is also important to point out here is that this is less of a environment where these different tools are connected so every time you create something 
I would suggest that you download it. And if you want to use it in between the different applications, for example, making an image and then turning it into 3D, you have to download that image and upload it again into the other project because each of these spaces is individually for itself. You have the ability to use all of these different spaces and also to set up your own spaces or adapt them, change them in the ways you want, which is pretty much a hard learning curve, but you can do it. So this is really open as you want it. And at the same time, it's online hosted, so you can use it wherever you want, which by the way, can also be a very good chance to use this through an API where you don't have the hardware or don't want to have it offline, or when you want to present projects or create something, maybe for a customer, maybe for an event, things like that, you can host it here. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.